from one of the nation's premier student-led television stations. This is Portage County's TV2 News. Ohio's death penalty has been in the national spotlight in recent weeks. Now, a Franklin Township man could face it. Good evening, Kent State and all of Portage County. I'm Kyle Hanselman. And I'm Sean Berry. Last Friday, a body was found in Storer Suites Apartments just outside of Kent, and John R. Fox was indicted in, in the case and charged with murder. TV2's Alexa Maslowski is one of our reporters who has been following this case since it first broke on KentWire.com. Alexa? That's right, Sean and Kyle. John Fox appeared in court today for the second time this week, but he wasn't in front of the judge for long. On Friday, January 17th, a body was found in John Fox's Storer Suites apartment in Franklin Township, just outside of Kent City limits. The body was found in a closet wrapped in a bed comforter and was later identified as 22-year-old Justin Early, who had gone missing from Alliance on December 30th. The Portage County Sheriff's Office believes that Early was killed in Fox's residence that day. Alliance detectives subpoenaed phone, email, and other records that eventually led them to Fox. Fox was not home when the police obtained a warrant and entered the apartment, but Fox spoke with detectives at his workplace earlier that day. Portage County Sheriff David Doak requested the public's help in locating John Fox, wanted for murder. Not long after, Fox was picked up by Ravenna police walking down Hayes Road without incident. He was arraigned on Tuesday in municipal court via Skype, and an indictment was served on Thursday at 5 p.m. According to the Portage County prosecutor, Fox was indicted on two counts of aggravated murder and one count each of kidnapping, aggravated robbery, and tampering with evidence. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this case, last Friday when the body was discovered at John Fox's store suites apartments off East Main Street here, the last time he had been seen was by detectives at about 11.15 a.m., leaving his place of work on Martinell Drive. And he was not seen again until he was picked up by Ravenna Police walking down Hayes Road at about 6 p.m. And we're still not quite sure why he was in that area. An arraignment in Common Pleas Court was held this morning at 11 a.m., but will continue on Monday morning to allow the defendant to review the indictment with his attorney. Fox could face the death penalty. TV2 will continue to follow this case as it progresses. Kyle and Sean, back to you. Thank you, Alexa. Now, the temperatures were 